I realized I never checked this guy's stats when I went to uh, catch it at the Embedded Tower in the last video. Uh, modest Nature. This thing would be very good competitively if I wanted to use it competitively, which I kind of don't. Um, attack, defense, special attack. Uh, attack is down for special attack, which is why Modest Nature is good for special attackers. Uh, drizzle is your ability. Aqua Ring, Ice Beam, Ancient Power, Water Spout. So on down the line. Uh, these are your Pokeathlon stats. Power is a little bit lacking. Should I want to use you for anything? Now, you may notice, I got this behind my party. And you may notice that it looks suspiciously the same as Kyogre. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything about that. So now I'm going to go and uh, enter Professor Oak's office once again. Professor Oak, you did it, stupid. You caught both Kyogre and Groudon. Well... Okay, I would like to entrust this to you. So he's going to give me the Jade Orb. And the Jade Orb is going to go in my key item's pocket. Um, and uh, it, it sort of re resembles that, doesn't it? It has something to do with Rayquaza. Legend has it that the battle between Groudon and Kyogre shaped the lands in the Seas of Hoenn. Volcanic eruptions and giant waves are said to have completely changed the shape of the land there. But then Rayquaza came down to halt the battle. It is the Pokémon that rules the skies. If the Embedded Tower is rela related to Groudon and Kyogre, then going there with that Geodorb will surely make something happen. So how's your Pokédex coming along? I could not care less how my Pokédex is coming along, so he's going to invite us to show, us, to show him again sometime, which I'm not going to do. And instead, I am going to go and uh, fly back to Johto. And I am once again standing out here in front of the Embedded Tower. And we'll go in. Um, I do not have Groudon or Kyogre in my party with me right now. And fortunately, I don't need them because I want my actual team with me. Rayquaza! Oh good, I thought it was going to put me in battle without giving me a chance to save. So I am slightly nervous. Um, when I was a... Uh, I, I tried to do this a couple times before, um, and by this I mean talking to Professor Oak to get the Jade Orb. So I tried to talk to Professor Oak to get the Jade Orb a couple times before, um, but it, when I backed up and restored my save, it must have gotten corrupted somehow, and um, whatever it was, when I tried to enter my Pokemon menu to, uh, to view Kyogre and Dread on summer screens, the game just froze. And I am not entirely sure why, I don't have uh, any possible explanations aside from corrupted game data. That's telephone. And that is somebody who wants money from me. Legitimately or illegitimately, I did not stay around to find out. All right. Regardless, uh, I am I am hopeful. I went and uh, re uh, reloaded my save. Good, you're paralyzed. You you did that so much easier than Kyogre did. Do you know that? Um, so after the game froze a couple times, I went and, uh, re-imported my save back into my, uh, my phys physical heart gold copy, and hopefully, um, whatever the problem was is no longer a problem, and, um, I'm just gonna start checking Pokeballs, and, uh, if, if some bit, critical bit somewhere got flipped in Kyogre save data, it, it's no longer... And uh, hopefully if some critical bit got flipped somewhere in Kyogre's save data, then that's, uh, that got smoothed out. I also saved before I entered the Embedded Tower, or uh, rather, right before I talked to Rayquaza. I am, I, I don't know what I'm doing today. I saved right before talking to uh, Rayquaza, and hopefully, Gary Oak has Intimidate, don't you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just switch in Gary Oak to lower your physical offense. Anyway, as I was saying, hopefully saving before talking to Rayquaza. Uh, if, if there was a problem, which I'm hoping that there wasn't to begin with after I fixed that, uh, then it just got ironed out, and, uh, and it will no longer be a problem. But in any case, this is the last video in this Let's Play, so, um, I, I don't need to worry about that, I think. Let's see, we're gonna check a Pokeball. Um, I, I don't really need Electivire anymore after inflicting the Paralysis. Um, as far as I know, Rayquaza does not have a way to heal, unless you have Roost. 
And to be honest, why wouldn't you have Roost? Um, I will probably, uh, after this, try and throw in um, uh, Lyra. I have Lyra with me, right? I think I have Lyra. In any case, Lyra is the most offensive. So hopefully uh, taking Air Slashes, taking Outrages, taking Ancient Powers uh, will not be too much of an issue. All right, Gary Oak. You, you are helpful. You went into Nerf Quaz's uh, colossal physical attack. It's mostly the Outrage that I'm worried about over everything else. Um, the Air Slashes, eh, at least I resist that, you know? Uh, outrage, I don't have anything to resist Outrage. That did not happen. Okay, so for all the trouble Kyogre gave me, um, you, that was, that was a, what, five minute capture? I didn't see what the, uh, what the timestamp on my, on my recording was when I, um, when I started trying to chuck Pokeballs at you or whatever. Nickname of Terraquaza, yes, let's, uh, what do I want to name you? Um, hmm. I don't know if there's any, uh, any fans of Randall Monroe watching this video, but that may look familiar. I couldn't think of anything better. I named you after an airplane. Okay, so, uh, that, that took far less time than I thought it was going to, and I'm okay with that, honestly. After some of the other legendaries in this game. Let's go back to Sea and Wood, and, uh, and see what your, uh, what your specs look like. I don't have a, uh, a fancy, a fancy Pidgey. Do I? Or a Spear or whoever it was. So I'm gonna have to take the long way. Alright, here we are in the PC for the last time. Skyboat, Bashful Nature, which is not terribly useful because that's a neutral nature. Um, your, your, your offenses are quite high, I must say. Uh, Airlock is your ability, so that's the, uh, that's there to counteract Groudon and Kyogre, thematically. Which I like. Um, I like it when the, uh, the game mechanics reflect the story just a little bit. Rest, Air Slash, so you do have a way to heal yourself, which you didn't use, which I'm happy about. Rest, Air Slash, Ancient Power, and Outrage. And there's a Pokeathlon stats. Okay. So that's all. I think I'm going to, uh... Hmm. Lugia's kind of been sitting off in, a, in solitary confinement for a bunch of videos now. Because I was mad at Lugia for how much trouble it gave me. Um, so I'm going to not be able to do the, the later generation thing. Okay, we can do this the hard way. Um, where's box one? Can I not do that either? All right, what box is that? That's box seven. It's very annoying. You can go back to box one. And uh, these are the events. I kind of would like to put all, all of my Pokemon in, in one box and let them play together, but there's kind of not enough space for that. And um, the, uh, between the, the event stuff and the, the other event stuff. Hmm. Alright, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, split hairs over that. I think I misused that expression. Um, this is, this is the squad. This is my party. Alright, go on the other side of the screen so we can see everyone. Uh, this is everyone who's, who I've met along the way. My main party. Gary Oak, what are you, what the crap are you doing in there? That's my main party. Um, this is it for Pokemon Heart Gold. I don't have anything else to do in this game. There are a few other things that you can do. Uh, there's the GB sounds. There's some stuff in the radio tower. There's, uh, the Safari Zone. I'm not gonna do that. I intended this Let's Play to be over at 60 videos, and here we are still talking at, what, 84? So, thank you for coming along on this mad, crazy, insane adventure with me. Um, I really hope you all enjoyed this. I sure did. Pokemon Heart Gold is one of my favorite games of all time. It and Soul Silver are easily my favorite pair of Pokemon games. And I really hope you all got to see why. So, I'm going to end this off on Route 47, the home of one of my favorite songs in the entire game. It is so hard picking a favorite song in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, let me tell you. I did the whole spiel when the credits rolled two videos ago, and I'm not going to bore you all by doing it again. My name is Dragonite. I have yet to decide what game I'm going to be playing next or when. Hey. For one last time, I will see you all later. Aww.